Yo, peace everybody. Today we're going to do how to chop up soul samples in Serato Studio, a beginner's guide. So I'm going to go over a few different techniques you can do. I already have some drums loaded up and I have my sample also loaded up, but nothing's chopped up or programmed yet. So we're going to go over here and start programming the drums. Um, so for me, I want to take off quantize. Now you see I have a kick here. Snare. I got this other kick. I got this hat. You know, going for some real grimy type drums, you know what I'm saying? It, was st it still got that, that vinyl grid on it. So what I'm gonna do is just catch a vibe off the metronome and see what I can lay down. simple so I'm gonna do it over So I'm also going to mess around with these the velocity. So you mess around with the velocity by clicking command and you drag each note. You can drag it down like so or up. So it's getting real crunchy, real dirty. So now we can go over to the sample. See, when you take in the samples, automatically going to choose chops at different rhythmic transits, transient. So. So what you could do sometimes is go through them all, see if you like them, save them. But for this technique, I'm gonna just straight up show you how to do set slicer. So you go to the part of the sample that you want to be your one. So if I wanted this to be my one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right. So I'll come up here, delete that. And under this, I click this arrow, go to set slicer, click. As you see, now it has chopped it up and sectioned it off. So if I do switch it to this, when I can just click it and it'll. Right, you can start messing around with them like that. So with the beat playing, you can. Now 
Like, see, just having that 16 cat alone is already wielding its own type of vibe. So let's see, let's see what it sounds like about quantize the sample. So mind you, I have stem so I can take the drums out. Right? Give it a second. So what I'll do also is increase the attack, which is gonna give it a little more time before it gets to full volume, so. So along with that, I'm also going to have time up here so that stretches out. So also I'm going to come over here and go to EQ, go to HPF, which is high pass filter. And I turn this high pass filter up to a point that sounds good to your ear. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. See now it has like a little swing to it. little parts Ooh. at that note next So at that point, you can go over to the bass now, right? Um, for me, I like using the sub basses or I use like a 16 bit um, square bass. But like for this one, I'm gonna do the sub 11 bass. Turn the release down, mix the tags down because I want it to be. In the short, shorter notes. Um, you can turn on a low pass also on it, and you can also go either do, you can compress it, or you can do a louder EQ. I'm just gonna do a little limiter. So I'm start with these two notes only first. And I want to turn the quantize off so that it has that natural human swing. See what I just did. It sounds like it was, you know, by itself, but when you put the drums in the sample, it all makes sense.
So what you can do at this point, right, is duplicate this deck and clear it out. Go to a new section and get some more chops. You know what I'm saying? And keep going. You can go for it way further down. Maybe get some vocals, right? Ooh, I like that. Maybe like a bridge. So you see what I did there, you know what I'm saying? This is a very strategic 16 bar chop. I mean, 16 count chop, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, loop it up, do some bass. You got a vibe, you know, from there you can add piano, horn, instruments, whatever you want, get somebody to play on it. And that's, you know, the basics. Uh, hit the comments below if y'all got any questions. I'll be back with some more. Peace.